here live in Cleveland. Uh, you're set to speak tomorrow night. And again, all I want to do is have a conversation. I can't have a conversation with you if we're both talking at the same time. What it sounds like to me is that you're accusing me of violence and supporting something, a narrative that I'm not necessarily in support of. And if you're, if that's what you're accusing me of violence, then you can leave. That's not true. I don't support violence of any type against police officers, against anyone. So if you're accusing me of that, then you're welcome to leave. But if you want to have a conversation, I am more than willing to welcome a conversation with you. I don't disagree with you about there is a narrative across the country that could be harming uh, police officers. But we don't know right now as a, someone who's in law enforcement, if that was the actual cause of it. Go ahead. Let me ask you this. Do we know that, the, that generally the American law enforcement officers are racist? Do we know this? Go on. I ask a is question. That, is that a, is that a, do I know American general law enforcement are racist? Yeah. I don't think anyone is accusing. If you're, if you're insinuating that people are accusing or saying that law enforcement across this country as a whole are racist, then your assumption is wrong. First I, of all, this whole anti-police rhetoric is based on a lie. There is no data, and you know this, there is no data, there is no research that proves any of that nonsense. None. Even it, you'd have to be more specific about what data and what nonsense you're talking about. That law enforcement officers treat black males different than white males in policing in these urban there centers. There is data that supports. There is not data. Uh, no, the the president the president spoke about it. Cedric Alexander, the who is a law enforcement officer, the president has been lying about it. He said it again the other day when he said black males are two times more likely to be shot by a law enforcement officer than white male. Don, that is a lie. That is not a lie. It the is a lie. Yes. Show me. The research show that, me. The research show that, it we to me, have, that we have from the Washington Post that, that the Washington Post study. debunked also that re nonsense. There's also research. He also said Sheriff, this time. There's also research he from continues. a Harvard professor that also showed that black people are treated more aggressively by police officers. No, you are than other wrong people. in your interpretation of that Harvard study because I read the study. That's not what he said. He that said he was surprised to find he was surprised that to find that in shootings of the of the most severe in shootings that he found no evidence that there was a difference. Also, it should be noted that that study was a very small sampling of police departments across the country. Many people did not find it credible, but it is also interesting that in that research he found that blacks were treated differently when it came to aggressive policing, but for the most egregious shootings he found no difference. That's what that study showed. Well, based on what? Just generally? Are we talking about high crime areas? About Are we talking about police, police officers being the under attack? Because let's go back to where this whole thing started in Ferguson, Missouri. Sure. The sure. lie With was hands respect, up, don't shoot. lumping a whole bunch of things into one. If we okay. can do one specific That's thing where this whole it, phony movement we'll started. It. it started out as hands You're up, don't shoot. talking about Black Lives Matter. Right. Okay. So if you, if you want to, to if you, you would need to speak to someone who is a member of Black Lives Matter, about whether they are have perpetrated a fraud on the American people. That's up to Black Lives Matter. That's not me. I'm neither, neither a member of Black Lives Matter, I'm neither a supporter, or someone who doesn't support them. I simply report on Black Lives Matter. Do you condemn the anti-police rhetoric coming from this hateful ideology? As a journalist sitting here on television, I don't have to condemn anyone, that, anything. That is something that well, you should I do. ask. Well, I Other do. people around the country, I that condemn it's their jobs them, to condemn Just that. like I condemn I the hateful the ideology out of groups like the KKK. All right? I condemn it. There is no place in American discourse for that sort of vile, vitriolic hate coming out of this ideology. This has fueled and fanned the flames of this anger toward the American police officer. There's only one group in America, one time, that truly cares about the lives of black people in these urban ghettos. And it's the American police officer who goes down there on a daily basis, puts their life on the line to protect who? Yeah. Black people. So when you say we just want to have to a conversation, the lines to affect, let's to have a conversation people. about the black on black crime, which kills more black males, which is more of a threat to any black male in the United States. Than a, than, a, than a law enforcement officer. Sheriff, yes, that's a, whole, that's a different conversation.